Hey guys, my name is Willowhan and this is Horse Show Day 3 vlog. If you've been watching my other videos, first of all, if you haven't seen part 1 and part 2, go on back and watch it so you're, catch it, you're all caught up. I'm going to be referencing them a lot in this video, but this is Santi here and we are at a dressage show. Today we're running a little bit late, I'm already dressed and ready to go, uh, but today, so yesterday, Santi was a little bit on the spicier side so i decided not to lunch him before i rode yesterday i thought he was going to be okay but i learned very quickly that that was a mistake so today we are going to lunch first so we're going to get going with that we're in the arena right now and i'm going to go ahead he's been up in his stall all morning so he's a little bit a little excited you know i think he could benefit from stretching his legs a little bit before i get on so we're going to get right into it we're back inside now from lunging. He was such a good boy, actually. He's being a little bit silly today, but I think he's in a better mood. I think he's more playful than, like, pissed off today, so that's good um he's very hot and sweaty so definitely got a good workout in and i hope he's just a lot more chill now hopefully fingers crossed i just just gave him treats and so now he's like accosting me trying to get more but we'll see um i've got his saddle and his pad on right now i was waiting until kind of the last second to put his bridle on just so that he doesn't have to stand around with it on for too long but we're right there i'd say i'm about to about to toss it on and walk over to the warm-up ring and start going let's go buddy it's making quite an entrance. Oh my goodness, we're walking up to the arena now. <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Okay, so I just put Santi back in his stall. We finished the first test of the day. It was, it was a little bit of a mixed bag. There were some really, really nice moments. We nailed the stretchy trot, which has been really a problem for quite a while now. That was definitely the best it has ever been. Um, his first canter work was a little bit scrambly. Just wasn't super under control or together like I would have liked. So that wasn't ideal, but I mean, there were some really 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 great moments so i'm not sure if that's going to qualify or not honestly um but yesterday i thought my test was terrible and we got a 66 and took high point so i don't know i'm very overly critical of myself so we will see what the judge thinks about that but um i have to go to the show office and pick up my ribbon from yesterday for high point and so i'm gonna go do that while i have a second uh, i think i have like an hour and a half before i have to get ready for my next test so we're just hanging out for a little bit <laughs> I've got him all tucked up now and we are ready to go do our second test. He's turned back into the sweet, lovable, good boy that we all know. And so I think he's going to do really, really well this time. He's taking a little bit of a nap, a little bit on the lazier, sleepier side. But I can always fire him up when he's a little bit tired and lazy. It's harder to get his brain back when he gets stressed. So I think this is going to be a really good test. I'm excited. Let's get going. <laughs>
He was so good. Oh my gosh, that was definitely the best test that we have done this weekend. He was so good. He was on my aids. He was listening to me. He was definitely a bit tired and lazy. It took a lot to get him going, but that's the horse that I'm used to. My, my sweet good boy is back. The fire breathing dragon we had yesterday has officially left. Hopefully that horse stays gone and I just have a good boy for the rest of the show, but I could not be happier with that. So I'm going to take him back to the stall and get him washed down and everything really quickly so he knows that he's a good boy. That was awesome. I'm so excited to see that what that score is. You want some? So we just came back from going to get coffee. Oops. Oh my gosh. He just headbutted me and my phone came out of my pocket. Um, but we just came back from going to get coffee. I cleaned his stall. I'm just taking him for a little bit of a walk around the showgrounds now before I tuck him in for the night. But he was amazing. We got our scores back and he had the two best scores that he's had of the show so far today. He had a 67% on the second test and a 66 on the first test. And I think it is honestly a miracle that he got a 66 on that first test. Like I said, there were a couple of pretty big errors there, but the judge really didn't seem to mind them that much. The rest of the test was really good, so she was okay with that um, and gave us a really good score still. So that was awesome. And so now he officially has another score that qualifies him for regionals. So all we have to do is get another good score tomorrow, and then we're going to be on our way to regionals which is at the world equestrian center in ocala so i'm super excited about that and he's just super chill now he's having a good time he's walking and checking everything out and just being such a good boy so i'm gonna tuck him in for the night he was a lot more tired in the second test so i'm hoping that he sleeps well and kind of wakes up a little bit tomorrow that was kind of the only notes that we got was just that he was a bit on the slow side for sure. He needs a lot more energy and impulsion in the test. So hopefully that comes together tomorrow and we wrap up an amazing weekend. I can't believe tomorrow is already the last day. Uh, this has been such a great weekend so far. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Make sure I'm gonna be vlogging that too. So make sure you go watch the next one too. And thank you guys for watching and make sure you're subscribed. Come on, bud.